developmental molecular biologist John Medina says the root of all problems in our life is our brain's way of thinking and working because most of us have no idea how our brain works and this can be fixed only when we know the essential rules of the brain and that's why he wrote a book for us which is New York Times bestsellers brain rules in which he has told about 12 scientific rules and if you read and apply these 12 rules in your life then your power of reading learning and working can be increased by 10 times and imagine if it increased your brain power by 10 times it will increase your chances of success by thousand times more than anyone else whether you are a student a businessman an employee a housewife or maybe you are a teacher and maybe you are preparing for a job exam these 12 rules will take you to the next level and will make you the smart. It will increase your performance and make your task easy to do. So let's know these 12 rules and apply them. Rule number one, the brain is a survival organ which evolved with time. Our brain is designed to solve problems related to surviving in an unstable outdoor environment. And we, the humans, have been using it in nearly constant motion to survive long enough to pass our genes on. But as we humans evolved over time, our way of thinking and way of survival also evolved from before. If I ask you what is necessary to survive, a strongest body or a strongest brain, maybe your answer is the strongest body. But we were never the strongest on this planet and still we are not the strongest. But we have developed the most powerful brain over time and this is the real reason for our survival in the past and even today. Our ability to solve problems, learn from mistakes and create alliances with other people help us to survive. We took over the world by learning to cooperate and forming teams with our neighbors. Because when we fight together, we become even more powerful. And if our environment and neighbors support our goals, then our creativity and productivity get improved even more. In one line, creating relationship and understanding each other is our cheap surviving tool. And if you fail to creating teams and building relationship and understanding each other, if our relationship with other is not good, then that same environment can destroy our brain and life. And there can be death due to conflicts with each other. So the strongest brains survive, not the strongest bodies. Rule number two, exercise boosts our brain power. Researchers did a study on two types of population who had a different lifestyle from each other. The people of group A who exercise daily and stay highly active and the people of group B who did not do any physical exercise or activities and stay sedentary. And researchers found that the group A had a higher cognitive scores than group B. By the way, our brains were built for walking 12 miles a day. But if we exercise for at least 30 minutes for 3 or 4 days in a week, so it will increase the energy of our brain. And then we can increase the power of our thinking and learning by using the energy of our brain. Because exercise gets blood to your brain, bringing it glucose for energy and oxygen to soak up the toxic electrons that are left over. And that the flow of oxygen can clear the brain fog and thinking block from our brain. It also stimulates the protein that keeps connecting neurons because those neurons increase the creativity and sharpness of our brain. Rule number three, sleep well, think well. Good sleep makes our brain more active and productive, which increase the power of our thinking and learning. Proper sleep must be important for our brain. Due to lack of proper sleep, our brain function, memory power, focus power, mood, and even logical reasoning deteriorate over time. Do you ever feel tired in the afternoon? Yes, it doesn't mean you are weak. We all feel this. That's because our brain really wants to take a nap. Napping is normal because at 3 o'clock in the afternoon there is a war going on in the brain between two armies of biochemicals. One desperately trying to keep you awake, the other desperately trying to force you to sleep. If it is possible at that time, then we should definitely take a nap for some time. In one study, it was found that a 26-minute nap improved NASA pilot's performance by 34%. John Medina says when we are asleep, the brain is not resting at all. It is almost unbelievably active and it is processing and learning information throughout the day. So we must need proper sleep in order to get a productive and active brain. Rule number four, stressed brain don't learn the same way. Our brain is built to deal with a stress that lasts only 30 seconds. It is not designed for long-term stress. Too much stress damages our brain function, memory function, learning ability and thought process. Because taking too much stress damages our blood vessels and can also lead to heart attack. You have one brain. The same brain you have at home is the same brain you have at work or at school. So if you are experiencing heightened stress at home, 
it will affect your performance at work it will affect your chances of being successful in life so if your home environment is not right then this stress will freak you out at work or in classroom and it will impair your productivity and performance because of high stress our body releases cortisol hormone which damages the cells of the hippocampus that crippling our ability to learn and remember so if your relationship is not good and it causes chronic stress and then fix it and don't take the stress of your home to your office and classroom rule number five every brain is wired differently we were told in school that all of us humans have the same brain and we wrongly assume that information but after a lot of research scientists discovered that every human is wired differently and that information we are told in school is completely wrong as we can develop our brain but our brain can be the same with others not even twins every student's brain every employee's brain every customer's brain is wired differently by the way our school system ignores that fact and they compare us with each other even our intelligence is measured by our exam marks and grades whether every student's brain is wired differently if we search any product on Google or search anything you want to learn, maybe a skill, then that same product appears on our social media, even on YouTube video. How is it being possible? Because they know what we are finding on what things we are interested. They never saw the same product to everyone because they know every brain is wired differently. And in that way, businesses like Amazon, Google, Facebook are earning billions of dollars. Rule number six, we don't pay attention to boring things. We give attention to the things with which our interest, emotion, profit, and culture is associated. Regardless of who you are, the brain pays a great deal of attention to this question. Can I eat it? Will it eat me? Can I build a relationship with her? Does she like me? The brain is not capable of multitasking. It is not designed for that. But yet workplaces and schools actually encourage this type of multitasking. Research shows that because of multitasking, the rate of making mistakes and being failure goes up 50%. Rule number seven, repeat to remember. Our brain stores only some important information for a long time. And the rest of the unimportant things, the short term memory start erasing them. And that's why we need vision board sticky notes, reminders to remind our brain that which information is important. If you forget your dreams or goals, but you want to remember it, or if you want to learn a new skill and you want to be the best in it, then repeat that thing time by time, day by day, so you can become perfect on it. Because practice makes a man perfect. Rule number eight, our senses work together, so it is important to use them. Smells have an unusual power to bring back memories, like rain or fragrance reminds us of a person or a situation. And the smell of popcorn directly reminds us of a movie theater. So if you want to remember something when you study or work that you can associate a fragrance and a smell with it. it can be a food smell or it can be a candle smell so whenever you get that smell you will remember the incident or information that happened or you read in the past rule number nine vision trumps all other senses vision is the most powerful sense of us we learn and remember things best for the long time through pictures not through written or spoken words. Because look, if you read a biography today and five years later, you probably won't remember which line is on which page. You won't even remember some scenes or situation. But if you watch a film that have been made on the same biography, you will remember every scene and every line very well. Remember you read history in your school, but do you remember everything what you read? Can you explain everything you read? But you can remember every pictures you have seen. How was the first human? How was the situation of war? Everything we learn the best with pictures. We are incredible at remembering pictures. Rule number 10, music can make our brain smarter. Dr. Medina's wife is a classical music composer. John Medina said as a brain scientist to wonder about how music affects my wife and me and my children. Not just the way we think, but the way we experience emotion. Research has shown that when we perform or listen to our favorite song, it reduces anxiety, blood pressures and pain as well as improves sleep quality, mood, mental alertness and memory. And if you live with a musician, perhaps also explanatory. Rule number 11, male and female brains are different. Once the researcher Larry Coyle showed a horror film to the male and female together, and he found that only the right hemisphere of a male's brain is working and the left side of the brain was silent. 
On other hand, only the left hemisphere of the female's brain working and the right side of the brain was silent. And he discovered that men and women handle acute stress differently. They process certain emotion differently. And after doing a lot of research, the brain scientists discovered that women are more likely to get depressed than men. Whether just after puberty, the female feels so anxiety. Whether the male exhibit more antisocial behavior. Rule number 12. We are powerful and natural explorers. The desire to explore never leaves us despite the classroom and cubicles we are stopped into. We the humans are made to learn new things. Babies are a model of how we learn. Remember how curious we were in our childhood, try to explore everything was around us. Not by passive reaction to the environment, but by active testing through observation, hypothesis, experiment and conclusion. Babies methodically do experiments on objects, for example, to see what they will do. Google takes to heart the power of exploration, but 20% of their time, employees may go where their mind asks them to go. The proof is in the bottom line. Fully 50% of the new products, including Gmail and Google News, came from 20% of time. So we should explore something new and different every day like a children. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you really like it, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends because these 12 rules will improve your brain and memory powers. I promise you these 12 rules, if you follow and apply these 12 rules, then it will improve your brain and memory powers. And if you want me to make another videos, some kind of, just comment below on which topic do you need a new video. Just comment below and I will, I will make that video.